Hey guys, I'm going to do a tutorial tonight um, about doing a conad design on your toes. So a pedicure with the conad. Um, this is, I think, I've not, I don't know if I've seen any videos that have this, but I'm going to keep this uh, as simple and as short as I can. Um, of course, you need your normal tools, your nail polish remover, cotton swabs, your conad supplies, cotton balls with the uh, nail polish remover on it, and that's about it. Okay, so I'm using a Polish My Nails in Maybelline Express 60 Second Finish Polish in Black, and that's dry. Then I'm using plate M57, and I'm going to use the zebra print. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The big toe is a bit of a challenge because um, it depends, I mean I'm assuming most people's toes are not as thin as this design so you're gonna have to do a little bit of creativity to get it on the whole thing. Okay so I've stamped it and I'm gonna start at the edge and go across okay and you can see I've missed a little spot over here and that's gonna happen on either side so what I've done is I just did a thin strip about as thin as what I think I've missed on the design plate I'm going to scrape that off, stamp it, and then I'm going to try to match it up, but not overlap. And that didn't turn out like I wanted, but you can see it's covered. It's not perfect, but let's see you can kind of work with it and manipulate it that's I think that's a hard thing about trying to do the uh, pedicure conad designs is that you're not going to be able to go across the full nail really well unless you overlap or go back over your design so I'm gonna see if I can touch this up and do it just a little better now this is the only set. This is the second time I've done this. So if you're still learning, then I'm right there with you. Okay, that touched it up a little better. Okay, so that's going to take the longest amount of time trying to get that right. But who's going to be at your feet, staring at your toes? They're going to not see it up that close. Okay, for the other toes, I only do half of the design because I don't want to waste my polish and there's no really need to do the whole image. And I use the smaller stamping and on the two-sided stamper. Remember when you do the design not to put a lot of pressure on the stamping technique because that's how a lot of times designs will get smudged and blurry and you don't want that and you don't need a lot of pressure when you're doing this. My foot looks weird because my legs all the way over here to this side. This is uncomfortable. But I want you all to be able to see that it's easy to do your toenails too.
Okay. One more. I think the pinky toe is a little um, more difficult than the other ones as well. It's just, I guess it's depend on depends on how your toe is shaped. So I'm going to go at it from this angle. Okay, and then I'm going to have to clean it up. I love the Q-tips work so well for really getting around the corners. As well as the corrector pins, manicure corrector pins. I know um, Sally Hansen brand sells some, but they're they're pretty expensive. They're usually about eight or nine dollars, and they last for a while. But still, that's a lot of money I think to pay for each time. And these work just as well. What I was doing for a while when the nail polish remover ran out of my pen, I um, would dip the tip of the pen down into the nail polish remover. Um, bottle and that worked too so and with the white conad polish I've been finding it um, okay to use my regular top coat which is the beauty secrets so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna go ahead and put my toe separator in because with my other one I put it on and then I smudged one of them so these look goofy but they work I know salons in my town, I live in a pretty small town, but um, designs like this at the normal like little pedicure places that you go into to get your nails done run about $35 or $40 for someone to sit down and hand paint your toenails with the zebra print design. And you can do it at home for free. So that's how you do that. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.